Hey guys, what's going on? Checking out Age of Wushu Dynasty, Snail's newest game. Just came out a few days ago and right now I'm in the character creation uh, scene. And I think I'm going to select this guy, the Tangman, because enhancing critical hit sounds good to me. I always like the critical stuff, so more damage, I like damage. Uh, so I'm decided to choose him and we're going to get on here. Um, Here's a little story thing, but I suppose we're going to skip this. You may always watch this if you're going to play it yourself. But I'm going to skip it because I want to get into the gameplay and see how it, how it works. Okay, so, getting into it now. Click here to activate the quest tracker. Let's do that. Alright. Pretty cool way of moving here, jumping and flying and running pretty fast, so... Uh, I like that. Did Magic Zan saw a few days ago a bunch of people visiting Mass Rally Lab? Here's a little bit of talking about me. Did Zanberg Zan saw any of you with those strangers? This is, you know, bring in. You gotta... Okay, so it looks like we're going to go into a story quest. So, um, I guess this, this would be considered like quest mode. Hold your phone. Well, unfortunately, I'm playing on a tablet, so it doesn't really work for me, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So, virtual joystick that is familiar from Taichi Panda. And, of course, the attack button down there is also quite familiar. I can imagine as we're going through the tutorial, we will get other skills and stuff like that. So, just moving along here, following where the arrow tells me to go. There are some lovely boxes. Alright, so, here's my first enemy, really. Sorry, had a bit of recording difficulties there. It cut out, but now we're back. And so, I guess this would be the boss. Looks like a boss because there's the health bar up there. Okay, here comes the cutscene, which is a little bit late since I was already attacking it. Okay, parry will reduce the damage you take and give you a chance to counterattack. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Parry makes it so you can dodge enemy attacks and even counterattack. So, okay. Cooling down. Okay, so I'm just going to attack normally for a while. Okay, so. Okay, I guess you have to time that pretty good. Okay. Alright, so there goes the parry. That was actually pretty cool. So, yeah, it, it is what it says. It's a parry. So they attack you, you guard, and can counterattack. So, that's the first level done of the tutorial levels, I suppose. And uh, similar again to Taichi Panda with the, the star ranking and the random reward at the end. And also, of course, the experience and stuff. So, actually pretty similar to other uh, action RPG hack and slash type games, so click here to activate the quest tracker. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. You're a quick learner. Well, thank you very much. So, quest completed. What are we going to do now? I'm going to, I guess, click on the quest tracker. Well, here's some guys fighting here, kind of join in. Although I don't think... What is that? It's a little blue shield above their head. I honestly have no idea what's going on here, guys, so I'm just gonna hit the uh, quest tracker button there and go to the next quest. Come speak now of this other day, depending on what you're just gonna do. Really Purple is crafty, so we're just gonna try to run for the stuff, so it's never happened again. Okay, so a lot of talking, but we should be getting on to the action soon enough. Okay, so I guess we're going on to the next story mode here. Probably more fighting involved, I hope, because that's what I play for, to fight. Here we are, Xu, Nanner, my blade is ready. Okay, cool. Don't make a sound, okay, so, so a lot of cutscenes, a lot of talking. I actually just want to fight. Alright, here we go. Following the arrow thing again, and, uh, okay, rage increases when you, you get when you are hit. Rage increases you get when you are hit. That's very hard to read for some reason. Okay, but... So the more I get hit, parry to get more rage. Okay, so if I get hit and if I parry, then I get more rage. So let's try. Going to parry, okay, so... Then I guess that was the counterattack there. And my rage bar is filling up quite fast, so that's good. And I suppose when it gets full, okay, press rage skill, deal more damage to enemies. Alright, cool. Kinda long, since those guys were dead a long time ago already. Can I jump up there? No. Okay. Taking the stairs then. Can't break the boxes either, which is unfortunate. 
I was hoping for like 12 gold or something. Alright, so a nice little pile of... I'm going to try and parry them, okay. Alright, well my rage bar would be ready, but I would like to actually save that for a tougher enemy, perhaps the boss. Got a new overt skill. Alright, I don't know what that means, but going to try it. Oh, well, that was the rage thing there. I don't know what the overt thing does. And this other one, I suppose that's just an attack. This yellow bar is your rage state bar. Target cannot be affected by control skills while it has rage state. So I suppose rage state would be like the parry meter in Taichi Panda? I'm not sure. Remember, overt beats faint, faint beats parry, and parry beats overt. Alright, so it's like a triangle thing. Like elements and whatnot. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to all learn this. It's kind of a lot to take in all at once, I would say, because they teach you like three different things in one minute quest long level. So, kind of a lot to take in. But anyway, we completed the second level here, uh, another three stars, but I suppose I would get three stars regardless of what I was doing, because it's a tutorial level. Another random prize. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna go on and hit the quest tracker button and it'll actually just take us where we need to go. Alright, so I'm not really sure what else there is to do besides quests. It's all a little bit overwhelming as it kind of usually is. Tai Chi Panda was the same way actually. I had no idea what was going on for the longest time. For like a whole week I was completely confused. Because they, there's such a steep learning curve. <laughs> okay, well that's pretty cool there. It's just... Okay, anyway. Let's go ahead. I have no idea. I'm still kind of lost here. I'm just gonna hit the quest tracker button again. That's what I do at the emergency case when I'm lost. Alright, so I guess mm, level 3 of story mode. Okay, you're here to learn your flying skills, aren't you? Sure, why not? Thanks. This skill is called Skyward Step. It allows you to triple jump. Okay, cool. This skill is called Flying Sparrow. It allows you to glide a short distance. Ah, I was doing that already. The skill is called Jade Slide, but this skill you slide forward. Okay. G Sprint, it's a dash that'll come in handy. Yeah, I like getting places faster and stuff, even though I can just use my quest tracker. Okay, plus the jump. Okay, so flying skill, double jump, press the flying skill on the ground, hold the flying skill button and the direction to dash. Okay, well, let's give it a try anyway. So, um, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool. I think I did it. I'm just gonna kill these dudes here for no apparent reason. They were in my way, so I will kill them. And my rage stuff would be ready. But I don't think I'm gonna use it yet, because... Those guys are actually dying pretty fast without that needed. Alright, there's some more dudes here. Maybe I'll get a cluster of them, and... I don't know. Just gonna keep going on and like I said, I still have no idea what I'm what I'm doing. Alright, well it looks like we're wrapping up this quest, and I suppose I'm going to be wrapping up this episode also. Like I said, this is a lot to take in, and this is a game pretty similar to Tai Chi Panda, so I can't imagine it will require a lot of time, which I don't have, especially not for two games uh, like this, so you probably won't be seeing many future videos on this, because I won't be playing it, not for now anyway. Maybe a bit later, probably. If I do start another game like this, I would have to give up on Tai Chi Panda, because... Tai Chi Panda takes a lot of time on its own, and this is a similar game to it, so there'd be absolutely no way I could manage them both and make videos still, so... <laughs> yeah. So, now we're getting into some... Uh, skill stuff, and I don't really want to go over that right now because that's even more complicated stuff So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here So what do you guys think about this game? Tell me in the comments below. Have you already started playing it? And uh, what do you think about it? 
So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.